Most ant miners, such as the L3 Plus, S9i, D3, X3 and many many more, use about the same fan size. This is why we're gonna test out this product from BitcoinMerch.com. It's a duct fan. Basically, we're gonna use this to direct the heat out of the room or the area where the ant miner is running and shoot the air out. And there's a lot of benefits doing that. One of them is definitely lowering the temperature of your ambient area. So if you don't have a way to get the air out of the room, the air in the room will get hot over time and actually extremely hot. It can get so hot that you cannot even be in there. It really depends on the temperature outside of the room or the area you're mining, how many miners you have, and also how much, what's the temperature of your room itself. So all those things really matter. And I'll show you guys how to install this to solve a lot of problems. And I did notice that after installing this, it's actually a livable place for me, the garage. So before I had this, I would just let the air out and then, you know, it circulates inside. But every time I open the garage, it's just a, a beat of heat in my face. It's just crazy like an oven. And I know this is not good. The fans have to run faster. It's going to consume more power. It's going to be less efficient and fire hazard. So this will help you a lot to solve those issues. Now I'll show you how to install it. Uh, there's many, many ways to do it. There's actually, there's not only one way to do it. This is just my way. I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but it, uh, if you get this, you can do many ways to kind of direct the heat out and the right way you want. So let me start by showing you how I installed it myself. Here is my setup. You see two duct fans coming out of the wall. Around it is aluminum tape to be able to seal the air so all the pressure will only go outside and none of it inside. I use this aluminum foil tape to be able to seal it and it comes like this and it's really a lot. I mean, you know, you can probably pipe four to five Bitcoin miners if they're close to you like this. And if you have a really far away, like a 10 feet location, maybe you can do two, but you can definitely use it in many ways and you can cut it. There's metal ring around those. Only do you have to cut it and then you'll be able to spread it into different sizes. Now let's go ahead and show you the setup itself. Here's an L3 plus miner here for the setup for testing the temperature. It's quite hot in the garage right now, but if I let this ant miner shoot hot air in the garage without circulating there outside, the room temperature will get hotter and hotter all the time. Eventually it will be way too hot for the Bitcoin miner to run and might even burn it. But if we connect one of those and connect it to the exhaust, what's gonna happen is all the hot air will get out and that way the temperature of the area will lower and for the miner as well. So all you have to do is match it here. It's actually designed to be matched exactly to your fan size. So it will snap in and not gonna go anywhere. All you have to do is just kind of wrap it around and that's it. Now it's on securely. Now you can have also, there's metal bands that's included to kind of like tighten it or you can use a tape to put it around. Just make sure that tape is conductive and this is conductive. So make sure to not touch this with any electronics. But once this is done, the air will come out from the back of the machine and shoot out to outside of the room. So all the hot air will be out. Another advantage is when you have a closed space like this, the sun heats it a few hours a day and the room itself can get hot just by itself, just because it's so hot, especially in California or Los Angeles is where I'm from. So when you have a machine like this, it's actually creating a circulation in the room. So a lot of the air inside the room is gonna shoot out and the new air will come in. And that's actually lowering the temperature of the room itself regardless. This kind of system is actually gonna lower the temperature in general of the room or the area you're mining. So there's a big benefit of doing this. But there's a few security tips you have to make sure. First of all, weather. If it's raining, I really don't recommend to use one of those because even if one drop goes in here, then you are done. Also make sure the ant miner is higher than your intake. So if it does, something comes up, it's not gonna go all the way in and it's gonna stay here or go right back. So make sure this is higher than where the fan is. As you can see, it's a little higher. 
Another thing is to make sure that the outside has a well ventilated area so all the air actually goes out correctly and there's nothing blocking it. And if you have a space here that is open, right now it's not open because I have one of those, make sure to seal them off so the pressure stays always outside and not gonna go inside. If there's any hole anywhere in the fan, uh, duct fan itself, or if anywhere in the connection, some of the air will come back in and heat up the room. So let's go ahead and start the machine. I'll show you also the, um, the difference between the temperature and also I'll show you the difference between the noise. So I'm gonna turn it on and show you how it is with the fan. Chips temperature are averaging 58 degrees Celsius. We have about 68 decibels um, of noise. So we have an increase of about uh, two or four decibels compared to without the hose. Average temperature is about 61 degrees Celsius. So we also have an increase of two, uh, one or two degrees Celsius. So here's for the result, you get two degrees less on your chip you get about four decibels less, so it's less noise, less temperature, less fan speed, less wattage consumption. So big thumbs up and definitely gonna help you out. And also your ambient temperature will keep going uh, down probably because you're gonna have circulation of air and less hot air retention in the room. So there's a lot of benefits of using this. Don't forget to use one of those fan filters to filter out all the bugs and the dust. This will save you a lot of time cleaning and will keep your machine running for longer. I also use this duct tape, aluminum foil tape, which helped me kind of like minimize the air coming into the room and keep the pressure all out of the room. And of course we have a 25 feet of the duct. So check out the link below for all those products on BitcoinMerch.com. Let me know what you think about this product and why not share your picture on our forum. I'll leave a link below. Show us how you did it. I'm really curious. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification so you can see the next video I'm making. And like this video if you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.